Okay, now let's talk about perception of the job versus the reality of the job. From people outside of the industry, from maybe yourself, if you're just starting out in this industry, uh, even from other crew members on set, the perception of what a cinematographer does versus the reality of the position is the, the, the gap between the two is enormous. The perception is that you spend the majority of your time shooting and you're making creative decisions about how to best approach a story or a concept or a commercial and your job is to deliver the visuals of that project and you're making choices and you're making uh, creative decisions all along the way. That's the perception. The reality is far from that. The reality is that you are going to spend at least 90% of your time in pre-production or in getting jobs or in doing things that are not on set, uh, getting yourself ready to be successful on set, which is why uh, I chose to focus strictly on pre-production for this very first course because it plays such a pivotal role. And it's something that I hadn't seen discussed a lot elsewhere. And it took me uh, years of trials and tribulations to develop the best framework for uh, setting myself up for success because it's not uh, self-evident. At least it wasn't for me starting out just how important a, a couple of these steps were uh, in order to get the best out of a project. So the perception is you spend a lot of time on set. The reality is that uh, you are spending the majority of your time offset working to set yourself up to be successful on set. So the common misconception is that your job is to translate the visuals of a job and to create the images that you see in the final advertisement. The reality is you spend the majority of your time organizing crew, organizing gear, talking about technical limitations on a job, figuring out problem solving uh, beforehand going on tech recce's, going on location recce's, in conversation over the phone, uh, via FaceTime or Skype with the director, with the production company, tackling issues before they come up. So knowing that, we're going to focus a lot of our time here in this course on what are the things you can do to best set yourself up in that time because you are a problem solver. Again, that's the whole goal of this course is to do that because a problem solver makes themselves more employable. And if you want to find more work, if you want more jobs, if you want more people in your network who consider you uh, as a cinematographer, someone that can solve their issues, uh, then you need to excel at the 95% of the job that isn't on set or the 90% of the job that isn't on set, it's offset. What are those decisions? What is the decision-making process in order to set yourself up for the most success on set? What can you do now that will help you? How can you maintain relationships? How can you work with your crew? How can you communicate with them? How can you communicate with the director? Where are you in the cog in the wheel of commercial production? Where are you? And what can you do to benefit those around you? What can you do to help the whole process move more freely? Because we are looking to get you jobs. We're looking to get you more employed. We're looking to get you better results. Going back to the goals and the objectives, we're looking to hit those objectives and do so in the quickest time possible with the most amount of efficiency for the energy that we put in to cinematography. We want to get the maximum return. So to do that, we're going to focus on the pre-production side of things. We're going to focus heavily on communication, on dealing with directors and production companies, and then navigating the conversations with crew about those things. These are the things that's, that are going to set you apart. And these are the things that you may not be able to learn just by going on YouTube or going on Vimeo or wherever it is you go for cinematography education. Uh, this isn't the technical side of things. It isn't the managerial side of things. This is really just the, the business side of things, understanding what it is that makes you employable, why it is so, why people, why some people are more successful than others, why some people have an easier time of it. Yeah, a lot of the things has to do with the work that you um, get. And a lot of it has the work that you produce. That has a, a huge element in the success, but it's also these little tiny things that you don't see because they add up very quickly. So understanding the perception versus the reality of the job will help us hone in on what we need to improve and how quickly we need to address any issues that come up in that area. Because these problems will keep you from getting employed. If the whole goal of this course is to get you to understand that there are a million different factors that go into getting work and producing great work. Um, these are the key areas that will set you up. These are the things that you may have overlooked or you may not have thought of, or you may be uh, ignoring, or you may be, you know, you may have the, the world's greatest technical knowledge and the best creativity uh, that is going around, the most unique sense of camera movement or lighting or whatever it is. 
But if you ignore these areas in pre-production, you're going to set yourself up for a much harder time. And even if you are the best, these things are just going to make it a smoother process and help you when you're starting out, just not knowing when, okay, when is it my turn to do this? What should I be looking after now? What should I be talking about? Who should I be talking about with gear and lenses and the look? Uh, how do I communicate that? Where do I communicate that? This is where the perception versus the reality will start to place emphasis on the areas that will actually make an impact. And that's the whole goal here. The big takeaway here is, yes, we are going to go over some of the things that you have to do uh, in pre-production to get yourself prepared to be on set and to be effective. But for the majority of it, we're going to be focusing on the business side of things, on how you can communicate, how you can set yourself up for success before you get there. So pre-production, offset, early on, communication with the various people that we talked about in the commercial landscape. How are you communicating with the agency? How are you communicating with the director and with the production company? And then taking that information and then dealing with the crew to, as you come up with the idea, as we go through the pre-production process of formulating the idea, formulating the plan of attack, how do we go about communicating with our crew members, with the keys, the first AC, the gaffer, the key grip? How do we communicate with them and give them the best opportunity to succeed within the system that we've created, right? Because much like the client and the agency and the production company will create a sandbox that the cinematographer and the director have to work in, the same goes for the crew. They're only going to be as productive as you make them, as you allow them to be. So let's talk about the systems that will maximize the return that you can get from really skilled people, right? Because obviously you should be trying to surround yourself with people that are better than you in their respective roles. Uh, key grip, gaffer, uh, camera assistant, you want them to be more knowledgeable than you. You want to be able to use their skills, but you also need to effectively communicate what you are after. And that's really going to be a big focus here. And it's important to know perception versus reality, what you're actually doing, what you're expected to do on a job, and where you can earn some extra points and separate yourself from the rest of the people because it is a zero-sum game. There is only so many jobs, and there are people vying for those jobs. Uh, in order for you to get a job, somebody else doesn't get it. Right? So where can you... Separate yourself from the herd. These are the questions that we are looking to answer. And, and that's the big takeaway from this section. It's just knowing that, okay, yes, I have to be dialed in, ready to go on set. But for the 90% of the job that is not there, I still need to be dialed in. I still need to be doing these things. What can I do to set the bar a little bit higher, to problem solve before issues get out of hand, to make a job easier for everyone in that wheel, right? Ease. Make it as smooth as possible. You shouldn't, uh, when someone recommend, recommends your name or when somebody puts you down for a job, uh, it should be, oh, thankfully, it's so-and-so. Thankfully, not, oh, it's such hard work. It, there's no communication. We never get any emails back. They're never able to get a hold of you. Uh, you're always very pedantic about the gear or, or whatever it is. Like You have to know the relationships around you so that you can know people's pinpoints so that you can make it easier for them to hire you. We are greasing the wheel. Like how do we make it easier for people to come to us and hire us? And that's the whole uh, thing behind it is knowing that, okay, this is what people think the job is. This is actually where I need to put in the work and really focus. So um, hopefully you get that from this little module.